The Bachelor and The Bachelorette are TV shows with a clear goal that you don't need Bachelor spoilers to figure out. Set up a man or woman with his or her soulmate. Heck, nearly every season ends with a proposal, right? And yet over time almost no proposals end in actual marriage. By the numbers, few couples from Bachelor Nation last months, let alone years, let alone an entire lifetime together. Have there been exceptions to this rule? Oh yeah, just look at the Jason and Molly, or Sean and Kat, Rachel and Brian, even Ari and Lauren, or Jojo and Jordan. Nevertheless, it's still an arduous uphill battle. See Hannah Brown and Jed Wyatt, or Peter Weber and Hannah Ann, or Peter Weber and Madison for that matter. Their engagements lasted days, hours. These are unique cases, and yet not. Heck, Peter and Kelly Flanagan broke up too now, dude was 0 for 3 in 2020. The fact is that it's hard out there for duos spawned by this franchise to make it work, as we saw again this weekend. Colton and Cassie broke up last summer, followed by Becca and Garrett, then Ashley and JP. Such a brutal year 2020. And most recently, to the surprise of no one, Claire and Dale. Some people are just meant to be friends, or hate each other. Will the other bachelorette of 2020, Tasha Adams, fare any better, now that filming has wrapped and real life has begun? What about her bachelor counterpart, Matt James? We hope so, but we doubt it. Anyway, looking back through the years, he was still living happily ever after, after the final rose was handed out. Take a look at notable duos from The Bachelor and Bachelorette and see whether there's still a romantic item now. Claire Crawley and Dale Moss where to begin with Claire Crawley and Dale Moss, the latest casualty of the Bachelor curse, AK Real Life. These two get engaged after like two weeks pieced out of the show and were head over heels in love before a host of usual suspects, cheating allegations, long-distance relationships, conflict in priorities, the stress of the spotlight, the honeymoon phase wearing off, derail their romance in spectacular fashion in early 2021. Is it possible for a breakup to be surprising and yet not at all? Tasha Adams and Zach Clark. Tasha Adams and Zach Clark, on the other hand, appear happy as can be, at least for the time being. After she took over the Bachelorette when Claire bounced with Dale, she went on to enjoy a relatively conventional season, culminating in an engagement to Zach. We wish these two all the best, as they certainly do seem like a great fit. You just never get your hopes up too high as a fan these days. Carlton Underwood and Cassie Randolph. Colton Underwood and Cassie Randolph broke up in late May 2020. By all accounts, Cassie was the one for Colton from the start, and it appeared that she was along for the ride long after he busted the inaugural knot. Whether they actually make it to the altar was always suspect. However, given the hesitation we'd seen on the show, and some of the bombshells he dropped in his recent memoir, and just the overall odds of reality TV relationships actually lasting, not good. But hey, they made it over a year and, as they said in their joint statement, some people are just meant to be friends instead. No shame in that truth. Of course, given her recent accusations and the restraining order she filed, there may be plenty of shame we've yet to learn about. Peter Weber and Madison Pruitt Peter Weber was an iconic disaster on The Bachelor, so much so that it's hard to decide which of his relationships to even include here. He began his season needing closure with Hannah Brown, he returned to the show for multiple episodes, then got engaged to Hannah Ann Sloss on the finale and dumped her a month later, long before the finale actually made it to air. Then Chris Harrison flew to Alabama to set Peter up with runner-up Madison Pruitt, who he went public with on the After the Final Rose special. They broke up two days after, then he got together with Kelly Flanagan, another contestant on his season he didn't even make it to the hometown dates. Good luck to her. Hannah Brown and Jed Wyatt This one didn't come close to working out. Hannah accepted Jed's proposal, only to find out two whole days later that Wyatt had never told her about a quasi-girlfriend back at home. She then dumped him. A year later, she said she had doubts even during the proposal itself. Maybe she shouldn't have put herself through that, but what can you do? The heart wants what it wants and sometimes that's douche lords. Becca Kufrin and Garrett Yrigoyen 
Becca, Kufrin and Garrett Irigoyen hit it off from the very start, and after a fairly conventional season of The Bachelorette, they get engaged on the finale. Perhaps the most notable obstacle for this duo came prior to the season, when his Instagram double-tapping of some serious offensive posts and memes came to light. It appeared they were destined to stay on cloud nine until the spring and summer of 2020, when it appears his support of Blue Lives Matter and their different worldviews were just too much to overcome. They split August 6th. Jojo Fletcher and Jordan Rogers Jojo Fletcher and Jordan Rogers have been an interesting case, both seemingly over the moon in love and behind the proverbial eight ball since day one. They certainly seem to have weathered whatever storms have been in their path thus far, and enough time has passed that they're no longer in the honeymoon phase that they've proven us wrong, for sure. Whether or not they make it to the altar is still an open question, but there's zero signs of trouble right now, at least publicly. It's been four years at this point, so we have to give them credit. Hey, they even get engaged again, for whatever that's worth. Rachel Lindsay and Brian Abasalo Rachel Lindsay and Brian Abasalo are a match made in heaven. Bachelor Nation seemed to prefer runner-up Peter Cross, but Rachel went with the smooth doctor from Miami at the last minute, too smooth for some fans' liking. And it worked out for them. These two got married in August 2019. Matt Grant and Shane Lamas These two lasted about 13 minutes. Turned out it was for the best, and Shane went on to meet the man, the myth, the legend, celebrity blogger Nick Ritchie, one night and married him within a couple of hours. You can find this in the dictionary under Upgrade. Shane and Nick have two children and a beautiful semi-retired life together to this day, so perhaps there's hope for all of us yet here in 2021. Ari Luyan Dick Jr. and Lauren Burnham Yes, Ari Luyan Dick Jr. and Lauren Burnham are still together, and married, and they have a baby. Needless to say, the consensus was that Becca dodged a bullet when Ari pulled the old switcheroo after his season and that Lauren might have her heart broken next. We weren't rooting for that sad outcome, but just saying, it's Ari, it seemed plausible if not likely. But we are happy that they're proving us wrong. We wish them the best with their marriage and family. Nick Vile and Vanessa Grimaldi Look, we wished Nick Vile and Vanessa Grimaldi all the best, but after the least inspiring public debut from a bachelor couple since Juan Pablo and Nicky, it was no surprise that they eventually broke up. Come on, people, we were talking about Nick Vile, who was clearly bitten hard by the fame bug, and fell for a girl who didn't want to be in the business or leave Canada, where he had no interest in moving. Just saying. The odds made them a definite underdog from the start, and their short-lived relationship proved skeptics correct. Ben Higgins and Lauren Bushnell It was a good year. Closer to a year and a half, actually, which is a long time for any relationship, reality TV style or regular style, when Ben Higgins and Lauren Bushnell publicly called out what they deemed as fake news that alleged they had broke up, and then cancelled their wedding and admitted that they broke up. Hash real news. Caitlin Bristow and Sean Booth Caitlin Bristow and Sean Booth looked the part of the happy couple ever since they got engaged in August 2015, until they split up in November 2018. So the joke's on us, because three years is a long time for any relationship. Yet they did break up as predicted. Call it a wash? Chris Souls and Whitney Bischoff Chris Souls and Whitney Bischoff just got engaged on the Bachelor season finale in March 2015, only to break up in May 2015. What seemed like the perfect fit turned out to be anything but. Ashley Hubbard and J.P. Rosenbaum Ashley Hubbard and J.P. Rosenbaum were married in 2012 after meeting in the Bachelorette a year earlier. Plain and simple, he won her heart on the show and in life. They have two children and have a beautiful life together, until they didn't. JP and Ashley stunned Bachelor Nation by going their separate ways in October 2020, proving that even the long-lasting fairy tales have shelf lives. Brad Womack and Emily Maynard Brad Womack and Emily Maynard did not last. He chose no one on his first stint on The Bachelor, making him zero for two. She fittingly tried this charade and flopped again too. Sean Lowe and Catherine Giudici Sean Lowe and Catherine Giudici got engaged on The Bachelor in 2013 and never looked back. They made it official early in 2014. Jake Pavelka and Vienna Girardi 
Jake Pavelka and Vienna Girardi got engaged on The Bachelor. They broke up in epic fashion and did not last long, to the surprise of no one. Desiree Hartsock and Chris Siegfried Desiree Hartsock and Chris Siegfried got engaged on The Bachelorette in 2013, and ever since they've still been a thing, a married thing. They got hitched two winters later, and are living their happy ever after. Jason Mesnick and Molly Mullaney Jason Mesnick and Molly Mullaney got engaged and married and had a kid. This infamously happened after he dumped his final rose receipt Melissa Rycroft and chose Molly instead. Close enough. Count it. Melissa went on to marry Ty Strickland and have a beautiful family of her own, so really everyone won in this case. Ben Flejnik and Courtney Robertson Ben Flejnik and Courtney Robertson, aka the Black Widow, got engaged on The Bachelor and lasted for about a year. They broke up. She wrote a tell-all book about successfully reverse cowgirling him like a madman in the fantasy suit. The rest is history. Travis Stork and Sarah Stone Travis Stork and Sarah Stone broke up before the Bachelor finale and after the final row special even aired. Now that takes the sedation to not making it work. Emily Maynard and Jeff Holm Emily Maynard and Jeff Holm broke up really, really fast. She chose Jeff with one F over Sean Lowe in The Bachelorette. Bad call. Ailey Fedotowski and Roberto Martinez Ailey Fedotowski and Roberto Martinez dated for a long time. They didn't last, however, calling off their engagement after about 18 months. Charlie O'Connell and Sarah Bryce Charlie O'Connell and Sarah Bryce are obviously not still together, but they sure made a cute pairing in the early years of the ABC franchise. Jillian Harris and Ed Swiderski Jillian Harris and Ed Swiderski's engagement was short-lived, she's better off for it. Jessic Singsack and Deanna Pappas Jessic Singsack and Deanna Pappas got engaged after the Bachelorette chose him over Jason Mesnick, did not take. Trista Wren and Ryan Sauter Trista Wren and Ryan Sauter have been together so long we forget that she was ever not Mrs. Ryan Sauter. They have been married for a decade and have two kids. Juan Pablo and Nikki Farrell Juan Pablo's now infamous non-proposal made him persona non grata for many fans, but he and winner Nikki Farrell were together for a good six months before she finally got sick of his crap. Andy Dorfman and Josh Murray Andy Dorfman and Josh Murray split up after just six months together. Amazingly, they appeared happily together and in love just days before they called it off. Hannah Brown and Tyler Cameron Yup, Hannah gets to be on this list twice. She asked out runner up Tyler on the After the Final Rose special, and he said yes. They then went out on a single date, before he hit it off with Gigi Hadid and is apparently now very serious with the model. Peter Weber and Hannah Ann Sloss This fuckboy gets a second entry as well, by virtue of the fact that it was Hannah Ann, not Madison or Kelly, who actually accepted his final rose. Sure, things sometimes don't work out, but this guy basically let things die a slow death until she just couldn't take it anymore, while secretly, or not even that secretly, pining for other girls from the show. Plural. Straight up fuckboy. Peter Weber and Kelly Flanagan The third time was not the charm for pilot Pete, who ran through cast members like Drano in 2020. After his brief engagement to winner Hannah Ann Sloss and subsequent split from runner-up Madison Pruitt, he reconnected with fellow cast member Kelly Flanagan. Alas, it wasn't meant to be, with the pilot sharing on New Year's Eve that their nine-month romance was over. While our relationship was filled with countless beautiful memories, our relationship simply didn't work out in the end, Pete said on Instagram. On to the next, we suppose. Such a fuckboy. Chris Sills and Victoria Fuller One of the least expected Bachelor Nation hookups of all time began in quarantine. Chris slid into Victoria's DM and she went out to Loa to check up with him, and that was awesome for a while. Then they went their separate ways after a few months because he's Chris Sills and she's Victoria Fuller. Jared Haybon and Ashley Iaconetti Another success story. It took these two a while to find each other, or to be specific for Jared to acknowledge Ashley was the one, but they went ahead and also got married in the summer of 2019. Chris Randon and Crystal Nielsen These two were the villains of their seasons. Randon competed for Becca Kufrin's heart while Nielsen went after Ari Luyendig Jr.'s. 
but they got their own happy endings when they found love with each other. The pair moved to Los Angeles, had two dogs, and were married by Chris Harrison. Soon enough it was over, though. Just months before their one-year wedding anniversary, the newlyweds shared the news of their divorce. Crystal is now expecting her first baby with boyfriend Mike Bowles. Kevin Wendt and Astrid Locke Wendt made a name for himself on Bachelor in Paradise, which is where he met Locke, who competed on Nick Vile's season of The Bachelor. The pair initially got it on in Paradise, but reconnected off-screen and are now going strong. In July 2020, Astrid and Kevin announced that they are delaying wedding until next year due to the pandemic, but rest assured they are going strong. Joe Amabil and Kendall Long Joe and Kendall went public in the fall of 2018 after also meeting in Paradise. They signed a lease for an apartment together in West Hollywood. Alas, distance and shifting properties proved too much for them and they called it quits in late 2020. Carly Waddell and Evan Bess Another married couple we thought would be a lifelong success story. This Bachelor in Paradise couple from season 3 got married in June 2017 and welcomed a girl in February 2018. Alas, they have decided to go their separate ways. Go home 2020, you're drunk. Lace Morris and Grant Camp Two months after the 2016 Bachelor in Paradise finale, Morris and Camp were living together in San Francisco and looking forward to planning their wedding. However, in November 2016, despite having met in tattoos, the couple broke up. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.